Hello everyone, Dapper Ford here, currently running from a Root and Tootin Bounty Hunter, and today we showcase another killer build. And this time, I present you the Perma Exposed Deathslinger. To start it off, we're bringing Coup de Gras, which gives us two stacks up to a maximum of 10 every time a generator is completed. Whenever you lunge, Coup de Gras increases your lunge distance by 80%, after which one token is consumed. This perk helps us weaken some stronger loops as it allows us to get a hit from bigger distances than normal. In this build however, it gains additional lethality as it plays into the exposed status effect that is going to be present for most of the match. So it can get us a lot of free downs on survivors that don't play safe around pallets. Next we're bringing Hex Devour Hope. Each time a survivor is unhooked while the killer is 24 meters away from a hook, Hex Devour Hope gains a token up to a maximum of 5. When gaining 2 tokens, the killer gains 5% haste for 10 seconds after hooking a survivor. After gaining 3 tokens, all survivors become permanently exposed. And after gaining 5 tokens, Hex Devour Hope grants the killer the ability to mori all survivors that were hooked twice before. All these effects persist until the Hex Totem is either cleansed or blessed, an extremely powerful perk Hex Devour Hope honestly has some insane effects, but in this build we mainly use it for the permanent exposed effect upon gaining 3 tokens. Be careful with it though, because as soon as survivors realize Devour Hope is in play, they are going to dedicate all efforts to get rid of it. After that we bring Hex Haunted Ground. At the start of the game, two Hex Haunted Ground totems spawn on the map. If a survivor cleanses or blesses one of those two Hex totems, all survivors become exposed for 60 seconds and the other Hex Totem becomes a dull one. Its exposed status effect, while nice and helpful, is almost secondary in this build, as our main use for it is to protect and make it harder for survivors to get to our Devour Hope by increasing the number of Hex Totems in play. And the last perk we bring is Make Your Choice, which activates when a survivor is unhooked while the killer is at least 32 meters away from the hook. When activated, the unhooker screams and becomes exposed for 60 seconds. Make your choice synergizes well with Devour Hope, as both activate when away from the hooked survivor, but it also acts as a failsafe in case Devour Hope gets cleansed, so you can still have a consistent way to apply exposed to survivors in that scenario. Now onto the add-ons, we're going to bring the Iridescent Coin, which allows the Deathslinger to afflict the survivor's spear at least 12 meters away from him with exposed status effect. One of the Slinger's strongest add-ons, it rewards long-range shots with an insta down, so in case all the perks fail, you can still get the exposed status effect by naturally playing and getting better with the killer. And for the second add-on, we bring the Tin Oil Can, which decreases the cooldown of missed shots by half a second. This add-on pairs well with the Eerie Coin, as it incentivizes you to take more risky shots, as it mitigates a penalty quite significantly. Of course, if you don't want to rely on missed shots, which you shouldn't anyway, you can also take the Warden Keys, which decrease the reload time of a Redeemer by 0.35 seconds, which also helps quite a lot with the Eerie Coin. With the build ready, before going into our first game, if you want to support the channel, like, comment and subscribe as it's greatly appreciated and helps the channel grow. That being said, let's get into it. Alright. I see they've increased the chance of Shattered Square since the mid-chapter patch. From what I've seen, the map has ridiculously little pallets, like basically non-existent. I hope they fix it as soon as possible. Didn't get really good um, hex totem spawns. Let's hope they don't get our uh, devour hope in the first minutes of a match. Hello. I don't think I need a shot here. Wow, good job for that. She left loot. And insta down. Okay. First hook of a match and pretty fast, I dare say. Let's 
break the pallet and go bother some other survivors. Yeah, there's no need to break the gen, but might as well do that. Down here? It might be in the main building. in the main building either. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Hello. Yeah, we don't need an instant down shot for now. Ah, oh, close. Tin oil can is very good. Yo. I think Borgo might actually help us by being so red. Maybe survivors are gonna have a hard time seeing that the survivor. But yeah, never mind. <laughs> Hex totems are lit up. Where is. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Anyway. Oh, never mind. I found him again. <laughs> Too late. Okay. This is more like it. Let's quickly break the gen and give this man a hook. Too bad my Hex Devour hope is already gone, but we can still salvage it. It's not the... It didn't ruin the build completely, so let's see what we can do. Ooh, okay, now all the grounds is on as well. Let's see if we can get some nasty shots. Okay. Ah, so close! Thank you. Let's find your hook, miss. And we also have... Um, Meg. Which is downable now because of make your choice. Let's hurry on to our one. To break the gen. Maybe we can get another insta down here. I think you are. Yep. Ah, oh, gems are popping. Let's see if someone's gonna go for Miss Nia here. Nope. We gotta protect the gen. Go for Yoichi here. Yeah, and get us down. <laughs> All right. Now let's interrupt the. Gen progress there because they definitely work on that now. The healing new shack. Right. Let's try and get Cody here. Awesome. Very satisfying long shot. One, 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 one. And because of Kudu Gra, we can do that. <laughs> And another one. Uh, but it's still gonna be only men, but yeah. It's fine. Oh, never mind. All right. Sorry, my man. Where is Quadet? Maybe they're gonna pick you up in time. Some insane shots, honestly. Maybe you have DS? We are at two gen, so. 
I'm not entirely feeling guilty about it. I kind of need a man down, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're not going to go for Claudie here. Let's see if someone else is around here. Maybe someone in chat? Hearing footsteps, all right. Let's go away from the zone. Maybe we're gonna come back. Someone here. I missed the shot, I can't believe it. It. You're a bit too predictable. And that's an Eric coin into down, I think. Should be. I mean, what else can give me? An insta down with Hex Haunted Grounds off and Hex Devour Hope gone as well. Okay, so you survive his left. Go back to the Genia Shack. We must be working on that one. Or maybe not. Oh wow. They've abandoned it, so Nia must be there. Yep. Never had Gen. I can see her. She's standing as still as possible. Could have been so close. Yeah. Okay, she dropped a pallet. Let's break it. No way Mag finishes with Jen. Alright. Uh, let's go find Meg. Okay, I can see her. And some goose stacks. And another goose stack. And let's go for knee as well. And finish this game. Nope. Okay, she's just straight up left, okay. End of a road missing. <laughs> Let's go for you, and if Meg has Unbreakable and gets her patch, it's fine with me. Otherwise, let's hook her. And this seems to be the end of this game. Despite of our hope being destroyed, we've got a lot of exposed applied onto survivors. Dare I say it didn't even really matter, but yeah. It's kind of the safe, the fail safe in case of our hope gets gets destroyed early on. So good thing. Now on to the next match. Finally a map that's not Bogo. It's sad because when they raise map chances this much, it kind of forces you to use an offering just to not get the map that they used. What are you doing, Gate? Oh well. 
So yeah, in the future, I hope when they change maps and like raise percentages for map chances, I hope that they lower these chances a bit at least. Okay, good. Good job, uh, Gabriel, I think. Yeah, Gabriel Soma. Ah, and someone working on a gen. What are you doing? No. Oh, I'm not allowing you. Too bad. If only I were a second closer. Let's break the gen. And go back to finding someone. Let's go for Gabriel. I'm not sure if it's uh, an insta down here. Nope. Too close. Uh, we don't have coup here. If only we had a coup stack here. But we still get the hit. But I know they didn't destroy our all hope so we still have a chance to do something here with it before they realize it's in play oh good it's pointing location they must be going for that total now let's hope we interrupt them oh all right nobody here Oh my god, I wasted so much time. Let's see if we can turn this around. So bowels? Oh no, I think that's make your choice. Yeah, that, there's no way that distance was enough for the iridescent coin. <laughs> she must have saved Gabriel, yeah. Such a bad total placement here. And He's good at dodging. Or maybe I'm just bad at aiming. <laughs> Too bad. See, if you have bad days like me, you, you can definitely use tin oil can. to reduce the penalty of your shorts being bad. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> can't believe it. She's already left out. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Nah, man, nah. It's impossible. So frustrating, but it's good. Have good survivors. Yeah, this will be 
Easy shot. <laughs> I think maybe our boost stack is gonna do something here. No. <laughs> okay, he did. Man. This match is no mine. Nope. To do something fast. Devour hope time. Really messed up here, Claudette. Ah, <laughs> oh, trying to flick and it's not working. Damn. Oh, that's definitely near a coin distance. <laughs> Could have grab out you. What are you gonna do now? Oh, it's just for Gabriel. Should have left, Seda. Definitely should have left. <laughs> and I think you're down. I'm down dead. that not going for the save Close. but that could have definitely saved them where is she now though Okay, she saves her own hide. That's fine. Man, we turned this match around really at the end. Just because we blundered in a few ways. But yeah, the main thing was that we didn't bother to cleanse that totem bear near the shack. And by the time that they realized that Devour Hope was in play, we couldn't um, remove that one there. Thank you everyone who watched the video up until this point. I hope it means you liked it. I'm currently trying to increase the frequency of videos as I really enjoy making them, but with IRL work it's a bit hard to manage. So I also want to thank you for bearing with me. Yesterday I checked the channel stats and I couldn't believe it, but the channel has already garnished more than 30 subscribers. It's very shocking to me that there are this many people that are interested in what I'm making here. To celebrate this, and also the spooky season, my favourite time of year by the way, I'm going to try and give back to all of you by announcing another giveaway in a few days, so be on the lookout for that. That being said, stay tuned and 
You, if you enjoyed the video, as always, you can like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. And also, don't forget to drop your favourite builds in the comments down below. As usual, I've been Dapper Ford and I can't wait to meet you in the fog.